Hi, welcome to the PACEIT JavaScript Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. In this video, I'll explain what a function is and when you use a function. I'll show you the syntax to declare a function and how to call a function. We'll write a simple function that responds to an event using an event handler and then demonstrate the function's response to that event. I'll talk about where functions are placed within your code and explain where functions are normally stored. I'll talk about what you should understand after watching this video, the key takeaways from watching the video. I'll give you some other video and tutorial resources to learn about functions, and finally what your next steps should be after watching this video. Functions are reusable pieces of code within your web documents. Functions are not executed until an event takes place on your page and a piece of code tells the function to run its code. This piece of code is called a call to the function. This is usually done in response to an event through the use of an event handler. Functions can return a value. This value can be signed to a variable or can be used directly in your page. When a function does return a value, it is truly a function. This is a common programming concept. When a function simply manipulates values or writes something to the page, it is generally called a method. Don't be confused. In JavaScript, the words function and method are often used interchangeably. So how does a browser work with JavaScript functions? The function process is very simple. An event, any event, happens on a web page. The browser understands and captures the event that has taken place. If there is an event handler, written by you, the programmer, the browser looks to see what the function, what function has been assigned to the event handler, and then the function and the code within the function are executed. Okay, it's time to look at some code, starting with the basic syntax of declaring a function. So when you declare a function, you start out with the keyword function. Give your function a meaningful name, something that's going to tell anyone looking at your code what the function is supposed to do. For right now, we'll just use function name because we're just looking at syntax. You put in an opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis. You put in a curly brace and a closing curly brace and any code that you want to be executed when the function is called is placed in between here. If your function needs additional information in order to process it, it receives parameters. And just so we know the difference, I'm going to put a 1, 2, 3 here. And I always recommend when you're creating parameters or variables that you prefix them with what you are expecting to be in them. That one's expecting an integer. This one's expecting a string. And this one's expecting a Boolean value. For your function to be a true function as it's known in programming, a function must return a value. So to return a value to its calling location, you simply put in the return statement, the keyword return, and whatever value you want to be returned. And that's the basic syntax of a function. So to call the function, it's pretty simple. You just give it a function name and any arguments that you want to be sent to be saved in the parameters. Notice that I've set these up as an integer to an integer, a string to a string, boolean to boolean. So your function is going to take the arguments and place them into the parameters, and it will put them in the exact order that you send them. So be careful about how you're sending your arguments. They need to be where your function expects them to be. In this example code, I'll write a simple function that responds to the click of a button. Starting with an HTML template, I'm going to add a form. That has a button.
and I'm going to write my function first and we're going to call this function welcome. It's not going to receive any parameters nor are we going to send it a return value. So this is actually a method, not a function. And in order for our function to work, we need to have an event handler. So when the button is clicked, the function is called. So on the on click event or the event handler, we are going to call welcome. So here's our calling location here's our function. We're going to simply do a really quick alert and hi welcome to our page. I'm going to save this and run it in Firefox so we can see how it works. Click me. Hi welcome to our page. So when you write your code you have to have a call a function and some kind of action. Again, functions are reusable pieces of code. So even though the example code places the function internally within the head section of the web page, most functions are placed in external JavaScript files. Often I work and test functions internally and then when I'm sure it works, I cut and paste it into an external JavaScript file. What should you know at this point? Well, you should know how to declare a function, how to create parameters for a function, how to create a return statement, and how to call a function. So after watching this video, you should understand that functions are reusable pieces of code. They are sometimes called methods and can return a value. You can call functions multiple times from different places within your code. Functions are not executed until they are called from your script either as in an event handler or just as a single statement. Functions are best placed in a separate JS file but can be internal within a web page. Functions can accept multiple values and each piece of data is placed in a parameter and parameters are separated by commas. And as always you should test your code. Test your code in all the major browsers, Firefox, Chrome, IE, Safari, Opera, at a minimum. So for your additional learning resources, I would recommend the CIW Certification Par Partners Electronic Materials from Books 24-7, Beginning JavaScript, 4th Edition, Chapter 3, Beginning HTML, XHTML, CSS, and JavaScript, Chapter 11 on Functions. HTML Programming with JavaScript for Dummies. Not that you're a dummy, but sometimes these series of dummy books uh, demonstrate concepts very clearly. And that would be Chapter 7 in that book. Some additional links for you. Um, the New Boston, Beginner JavaScript Tutorials Number 6 on Functions. Code Academy, it requires a free account, easy to sign up for and W3Schools JavaScript functions. So your next steps. Take the code that's provided for you right immediately after this video. Test it and see if it runs and works for you. If you feel you have a good understanding of functions, move the function to a .js file. Test it again. Extend the function from the example to ask the user a question and write the answer to a web page using the document.write method. And always, if you feel lost or feel you don't understand, please contact your instructor or course mentor for additional help. Thank you for watching this video in the JavaScript Learning Series.